Welcome back to the Tomica Table and today I'm just gonna do a comparison video between two cars in the same category or well almost the same category and they are the Hummer H2 as well as the brand new Mercedes Benz G class so I won't go through the boxes of the cars for this video because you know it's just a car comparison so first off for the front view uh, we can see for the Hummer we have a really large grille all over the front with Hummer on the metal like uh, parts and you know black in the gaps so our, our huge headlights on the side in silver as well as our yellow indicators so we have fog lights below as well as a winch down there and you know a space for the number plate up here we have a little grill up here as well as um, holes for the window wipe <coughs> sorry window wipers but you know no actual window wipers so yeah just take a look at this front once again and then let's move on to the front of the G-Class. So as you can see, our grill with the Mercedes logo on it. Um, very nice style of headlights. Um, still silver, but you know, completely round with you know, a little bit of extra detailing. Our front grill, or maybe grill to bumper down there. And yeah, no fog lights. So yes, um... Very nice, although no space for number plate or no winch. So anyway, um, to this part, yes, we have another grill over there, as well as it looks like some more lights up here. So let's take a look at the side view. So first off, the wheels. This one has chrome wheels, but you know these wheels are much larger, larger than normal cars. And as you can see, the tread and everything is completely different. So what about the G-Class? The inside of the wheel is just plain plastic, gray plastic, a bit boring. And the outside of the wheel is a new kind of wheel. And it's basically the, the same size as the Hummer wheel. So let's take a look at suspension. Well, I guess you all know Hummer is the car with the best suspension, as you can see. It just kind of bounces around if you drop it. You see, it just bounces a lot. You can take turns pretty well. I mean, yeah, so this suspension on the Hummer is basically really, really good. So, anyway, let's take a look at the G Class. As you can see, yes, there's a suspension, but putting the Hummer behind it, the Hummer goes completely down while the G just goes a bit. Well, anyway, you can see that the side-to-side -side motion is not as much as the Hummer, which goes all the way from side to side. So yes, uh, for suspension, the Hummer wins. So anyway, um, for the G-Class, the doors open, which is a cool feature on this car, as well as a black interior. Uh, we also notice a very outlined body shape with the wheel latches and such. Also, um, black line running across the center of the car and the petrol cap hidden at the back. Well, let's take a look at the Hummer. So as you can see, uh, the body shape outlined right here, about the same as the G-Class, although it says H2 here, and it appears that the petrol cap is right here. So that's a bit weird, I mean, it appears, oh, no, the petrol cap's on this side, and as for this, it's pretty weird. So anyway, um, lines on the bottom of the door there, but unlike the G-Class, which is in the middle to the side. Well, the G-Class has door handles, but, you know, they're um, covered up by that black line. So this one, your door handles are more realistic and can be seen better, or better. So anyway, for the roof... Some yellow detailing at the front, a uh, supposed sunroof, I think, as well, you know, as a normal back part of the roof. Well, you know, your really bumpy kind of thing with all your lines. Yeah, and at the back, more detailing with some red tempos. So anyway, for the roof of the G-Class, 
yes, another sunroof, but this one they couldn't be bought it to put it in a different color. So, you know, it's just a plain silver outlining. So, anyway, yes, uh, silver grooves on the back of this roof, kind of like the Hummer. And coming to the back of the car, yes, it's a completely blacked out window. And, yes, a spare tire. So, Tomica doesn't really do spare tires, so yes, congrats that they did it on this model. So you can see Mercedes back here, as well as, you know, a little groove. So anyway, rear light tempos on this uh, handle for the back door, and, you know, your back bumper. So, taking a look at the Hummer once again, we can see our rear light tempos burning along the side, our bumper, and... Oops, sorry about that. Um... For this one, the boot opens. So, nice feature over here. And yes, the black, the back windows here are blurred out. So basically light gray, which matches the one on the sunroof. However, for the G-Class, the back windows are just, you know, plain black. So, it's kind of a bit boring. So for the other side, basically the same. So, how about the base? For the base of the G-Class, we can see... Um, number 35, 1 to 62 scale. So let's take note of 1 to 62 and take a look at this Hummer. We can see the Hummer is 1 to 67 scale, but around the same size as the G class. I mean, well, Atomica. So, in reality, the Hummer is much bigger than the G class. So, get the Hummer, we can see number 15, 2006. Well, the Hummer says, um, sorry, the G-Class says 2017. So this one's made in Vietnam G-Class. And another made in Vietnam H2. So this one, they have to put the licensing of the H2 on the base. Which is kind of weird because, you know, they have it on the box. So anyway, um, details of the underneath. No, not much of an undercarriage. Just the uh, axle, wheel struts, you know, nothing much. Well, for the Hummer, we have quite a lot of detail with your exhaust cleaner and wheel X, um, what do you call that thing? Um, your axle for the front as well as more details. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, look, another detail up here. Tomica is on a different level as the rest of the base. So anyway, yes, um, this is pretty much it for this video. So thank you all for watching. Do like, comment, and subscribe.